A very good morning, my dear students. Today is April 16, 2020, and I am Ananya taking care of English of class 10. And in this video today, we are going to discuss chapter 2 stories about flying, his, its first part, his first light, and the NCRD questions of this part. I hope you all have uh, read the chapter as the chapter is very short and precise and I don't really think that you'll be having any problems in it. But even if there is any problem, I'm sure that you're going to get a answer to uh, that doubt of yours in this video through the question answers of the chapter. The first question is, why was the young seagull afraid to fly? Do you think? All young birds are afraid to make their first flight or are some birds more timid than others? Do you think a human baby also finds it a challenge to take its first step? So in this question, they are actually trying to ask us as the young seagull was afraid to fry. So they are trying to ask us, are all the young birds like that only when they have to take their first flight? And then they are asking a human baby is also that much afraid to take his first step just like the young seagull in the story they're talking about the human baby then so let's move on to the answer the young seagull was afraid to fly because it was his first flight he doubted that his wings would be able to support him right I hope you have all read this in the chapter. We are well aware that journey to a thousand miles began with a single step, right? We can use phrases like that, motivational phrases in our answer. And it is very difficult to take that first step. Thus, I think all birds must be hesitating before taking their first flight, some more than others. Yes, just like young birds, human babies also hesitate while taking their first step. All right. Uh, let's move on to the question number two. The sight of food, the sight of food maddened him. What does this suggest? What compelled the young seagull to finally fly? Uh, my dear children, there, this, uh, there is this phrase that is used in the chapter that the sight of the food maddened him. So first you will explain that why that kind of thing happened, right? Like, you know that he was left alone for a lot of a long time and then uh, his mother appeared with a fish in her beak and that one sight made him mad because obviously he was very hungry he was left hungry intentionally by his parents what does this suggest and what compelled the young seagull to finally fly his hunger obviously and then um, he was maddened by his hunger means he could not see any other thing in front of his hunger and as he saw the fish his mother, very in a very tricky manner, stepped back, flew back from him and he then jumped towards the fish to catch the fish. And finally, he fell off the ledge and took his first flight. So you have to explain this thing in this question here. On not being able to gather courage to fly and acting like a coward, the young seagull's family left him alone. As a result, he was starving since he could not fly to get his own food. Right. He, he could not fly, that is why they left him alone on a ledge. When he saw his mother coming near him with a fish, he got excited and dived straight at the fish, forgetting for a moment that he was afraid to fly. So his hunger made him forget that he was afraid to fly and he dived onto the fish. Thus he got so maddened by the sight of food because he was starving which compelled him to take his first flight. Alright, so it was a trick of his parents to make him fly. Next, we have question number three over here. They were, they were beckoning to him, calling shrilly. Why did the seagull's father and mother threaten him and cajole him to fly? Now, these are the words taken exactly from the chapter. You can see how it is important to read the chapter because if you would not read the chapter, you will not know all these dialogues. All right. So they were beckoning to him. They were uh, trying to make him fly and they were uh, saying rude, cruel things to him so that somehow he gathers courage and flies. And why did Seagull's father and mother threaten him? They said that we are not going to take care of you and they left him alone, make him realize that he needs to take care of himself and he needs to fly in order to feed himself, right? So why did they cajole him is because they wanted him to be independent, being able to fly and catch his own fish 
to eat, right? So let's move on to the answer. Over here it is. Unlike his younger siblings, the poor seagull could not gather enough courage, right? To take his first flight, thus his parents taunted him for being a coward. They even threatened it to let it starve if he did not try. They thought hunger would make him fly looking for his food. They did all of this because they wanted him to fly. All right. So all that they did, they were not at all being cruel to him. They actually wanted him to fly. All right. Uh, moving on to question number four. Have you ever had a similar experience where your parents encouraged you to do something that you were too scared to try? Discuss this in pairs or groups since you cannot discuss this in pairs or groups. So uh, I would like you to draft a little experience about learning something, learning anything new, riding a bicycle or anything like that. And I've also planned uh, this question. You're not supposed to do it in your notebook. Question number four, right? Because uh, this is experience based question. And generally these kinds of questions we do not do in the notebook. And uh, this kind of question we are going to do in a form in a different form which i have planned for you in the homework you will see later in this video all right so you just have to tell if you have any similar experience that you were afraid to do and then something you did and then you felt that yes you should have done it earlier and there was nothing to be afraid about it all right question number five in the case of a bird flying it seems a natural act and a foregone conclusion that it should succeed in the examples you have given an answer to the previous question was your success guaranteed or was it important for you to try regardless of a possibility of failure so here to explain this question i'll give you a little example that when you were a child no matter how many times you must have fallen obviously you don't remember when you learned to walk so it was a conclusive thing that one day you are going to walk but that did mean that you were not afraid. So similarly, it is with the birds as they are saying that it is natural. It's natural. A bird has wings and has to fly. But some birds are sometimes afraid like we experienced read about in the chapter. Okay, so the foregone conclusion that it should succeed. So they are saying us to compare it with the previous question and write a little about it. That whatever you have written in the previous question, you will write about it. That was it conclusive that you are going to succeed? So my dear children, you can use this one phrase in your answer that if we try our 100%, success is guaranteed. Quotes about hard work can be used in the question. All right, to make your question look better. And now we are going to move on to uh, the homework you have to do and learn to uh, ncrt questions you have three question answers and you have to do and learn them the most important one is going to be how did the young seagull learn to fly then you have to write a short composition on your initial attempts at learning a skill i told you that i've given you something in the homework you have learned to write a uh, descriptive passage in class 9th so from that i want you to write a short composition by your own you could describe the challenges of learning to ride a bicycle or learning to swim anything learning to do anything dance paint anything and you have to make it humorous funny as possible because obviously you must have faced failures when you started to do it but later on when you learned it of course you must have been quite contented you also have to do the assignment given to you in your e-notes for self-assessment that is very important because that is where you're going to do some extra questions and know that how much you have learned and as you have a weekend to yourself i would request you all to uh, read part two of the chapter chapter two stories about flying and that part is a black aeroplane so that when you come in the next class you know a little about it and i can use the phrases and the lines of the chapter to explain you a few incidents all right and i would request all the parents to please uh, make sure children are paying attention all are doing a combined effort to make this work and till now 
children have been doing great and i am sure you will be making sure in future too that the children are doing their work in a timely manner stay home stay safe thank you